Hi, this is Mike Kent. I'm one of the professors that teaches computer literacy at San Jacinto College, and today I wanted to make a short video to show you how to do the guided and independent projects you have to do on SimNet. So for example, on Microsoft Word, I'm in Blackboard under Course Content, and if I go to Word, to the Word folder, scroll down, you'll see for each chapter, I have to do a SimBook, a guided project, and an independent project. Now these are all on SimNet. So I'm going to switch over to SimNet. I'm already there in my student view and you can see the various exercises that need to be done and I'm going to concentrate on the first project Word 2013 in Practice Chapter 1 Guided Project. I'm going to click on it. Now what will happen for you the first time you go into one of these projects it's going to pop up this best practices and it's going to make you do an I agree just so you're aware of that. I'm going to download this right now. I'm going to click on the best practices and it's going to say hey you need to download this but where is it going to download it? Right now I'm downloading to libraries documents. You always want to be very careful about where you download your work so you can find it. So if I go to the desktop you'll see I have a 1309 folder I've already created. I'm going to double click on it and since I'm doing the word part of the class I'm actually going to say new folder and I'm going to create a folder called word and I'm going to go into that folder and that's where I'm going to save this document okay now with the project it has the instruction file which is identical to what's in the book and then it has the start file that you start from so I need to download both of these as well so I'm going to hit click on the instructions and if you notice it remembers the last place I downloaded which was ITSC 1309 Word so I'm just gonna hit save and then I'm gonna get the start file and do the same thing once again into ITSC 1309 Word now you could be saving this to your memory stick to your my documents just create a folder by hitting new folder and save your work there okay now I've got the work saved I'm going to go into my file explorer and right now I'm on the desktop I'll go to 1309 and there's Word and here's the files I downloaded so if I look at the SimNet best practices it's gonna tell me what I need to do to complete this project and here's the instructions so take a look at that and make sure you read it closely now the instructions are right here this is a PDF that tells me what to do. This is identical to the book. Okay? And if you're working from the ebook and you're working from the instructions, one of the things you can do with Windows 7 and 8 is drag a file all the way to the side and it'll lock it to half the screen. And then I can open up the Word document. I'm going to say Enable Editing. And I could drag it to this side of the screen. Now, to make things a little more clear for me, uh, you see I can have both of these in the front. Make things a little bit more clear though, I'm going to maximize this document and I'm going to work out of the book. Now, the guided project, I just have to follow the steps, step by step, starting on page W145 so, and 46. So you can actually probably hear me shuffling my pages here. Now I'm not going to go through this whole thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out doing the project, I'll pause the video, do the rest of the steps, and then I'm going to save the document and upload it back to SimNet for grading. Okay, so the first thing they want me to do is to open the online learning document. I've done it, and if you notice, it has your name on it. It's been customized for you, but then they want me to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to hit Browse right here. Now, where am I at? I'm on Desktop. 1309 Word. Good. That's where I want to be. Now what they want me to call this is my initials. So MWK Word 1-2. Now I'm going to hit save. That's going to be my finish file. Okay. So to get going they want me to change the line and paragraph spacing for the entire document. So Control A to select the entire document. Then I'm going to click on the paragraph launcher, which is this little button right here, which is going to break out additional options. And they want me to change the line spe uh, spacing to the at right here, 
let's get the line spacing to 1.2 and you see that change to multiple and then they're going to have me change the after to 12. Now then they're going to have me say set as default this document only okay now look my dialog box went away this is a little bit of a glitch from the book but I'm going to go back to paragraph once again I'm going to set it to be 1.2 it has multiple make this 12 and then I'm going to hit OK now you see how everything spread out good now I'm going to keep doing this all the way through they're going to have me come up here and make sure my show hide is turned on so now I can see the paragraph marks and they want me to delete every one of these extra paragraphs so I'm just moving around with the arrow keys I'm editing the document as they've asked me to do and there's one more scroll back up see if I've gotten it all so now I would continue on to step 5 in the book this is on W1-46 and I'm gonna pause the video for here for a little while and go ahead and do a bunch of these steps so we can get to the finished product okay okay I followed all the instructions of the chapter. Now one thing I did is I deliberately made the color wrong right here so that when I submit it up to SimNet, and hopefully I didn't make any other errors, it will uh, catch that and you can see how to get the feedback. So I'm, I'm going to save the document, I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to go back to SimNet, which is in my web browser, and now I can say upload and save. So it's going to pop up the dialog box, and it should remember what folder you're in. In this case, it's Word, which is inside ITSC 1309. I'm going to click on MWK, Word-1, and say Open. It's uploading it to SimNet. Now I'm going to cross my fingers and hit Grade My Project. And waiting with bated breath for the results. Uh-oh, I got something wrong. So right here, you can see right now I have a grade of 90. I got 28 out of 31 correct. If I click on this one right here and open it up, you see I'm missing a font I'm supposed to have. How about that? No, here it is right here. Format paragraph headings in the document. You see I didn't pick the right color for all of those paragraph headings. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that. Now here, do you see the little tags it's given me to show me where I made my mistake? So for 5B, uh, I can see where I made that mistake. I've got the wrong font right here. And here I can see I need to change my font color. And anything else I've made. So these are the mistakes I made. I can come back up here and click on this. Now I can either uh, download my submitted document or I can upload and save it again and submit it for grading again. So I'm going to go back to my Word document and fix the problems. And just to save time, well, I tell you what, we'll just go ahead and look at it. I'm going to open it up here. Now all of these headings right here were supposed to be a different color. So I've selected the first one and I'm gonna pop out my font box and I chose deliberately blue accent one it was supposed to be blue gray text two so I click that hit OK now I can use my format painter I can double click on this select each one of these and they will pick up that format or al alternately I could just select each one and go back and do the command again and put it to the right color. Okay. And so now I need to fix all my problems, save it, and then I'm going to upload it again. So the other mistake I made is I got my font wrong. Right now I picked almost the right font. So I'm going to go Control A to select everything. I'm going to hit my drop down here and I'm going to pick Cambria as opposed to this is the one I picked before. All right, so I think I've got everything right now. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to close. I'm going to go back to my project. I'm going to say Upload and Save. 
Let's try this again. I'm going to say grade my project and see if I've gotten everything correct. So I'm up to a 100%. Isn't that wonderful? I got it right. So I can download my submitted file. If you lose the file that you had uploaded with the mistakes, you can download this again. But now you see I've got it 100% correct. I can go back to my project. I can go back to assignments. I have now completed that project. You'll see it's not listed here anymore. If I go to submitted, here it is in submitted. So that's how you do the guided and independent project.